Hello! Welcome everyone to Mario 64. Um, if all goes according to plan, this is our final level before Bowser and collecting the 100 coins. Um, I'm told to... shoot. I don't know if that counts as 3 o'clock or not. I'm told to come in at 3 o'clock, which is supposed to freeze all the mechanisms. I do not see frozen mechanisms. Oh, uh, wait, maybe they are? No, the pendulum's supposed to be frozen too. I'm just- oh shoot. I'm low on li I'm low on life, so that was probably not a good idea. But, I'm gonna try that again. Um, yeah, I'm told to go at 3 o'clock, 12, alright, ready? <clears throat> Wait, that's not 3, that's 2! <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't- I don't care. They're stopped now. I guess that was 3. Big hand didn't move yet. Who knows? Guess I'm supposed to continue left, and there's supposed to be a cage for me to jump into. It's called roll into the- What? Did you guys see that nonsense? Those platforms weren't connected. Oh. This is why we can't have nice things. Why not connect those? Why, why make us do another jump when you can't see that from the angle? All the way back up. <laughs> I think the funny thing about this game is the bosses are really easy and not very varied. Like, just Bowser, I mean. But the levels, man! The levels are sick! Okay. Let's try this again. Right. I'm not even going to try and reason with it. They're just two rotating things. It's not like a real clock. It's not like I have to really wait until 9 o'clock. Please. Yep, it's frozen. I don't know. It's faulty. Just dealing. Deal with the logic that I know. God. Yeah, you have to do a jump. There's a tiny little gap there. Man, I just remember this level is crazy when stuff is moving, so I am not excited for when that time comes. Well, I know where all the red coins are now. Man, I really get to skimp out on a lot of challenges this way. Um, I'm stay away from the fire, though. I'm trying to figure out where the cage is. I know one star requires me to ride the hand. But that's not here. I assume that's when the parts need to be moving. I also can't think of a single time when you would want the things to be moving extra fast. I know that that's an option. I mean, I'll go through, but I feel like there's no reason you would want to do that. Um, yeah, there's the cage. Simple enough. It looks like I can get the one right below it, too, just with a tricky jump. I'm going to try that. I don't care what the next star is called. I'm just going to get that one. This is another one where 100 coins does not sound very fun. Alright, by the time the little hand goes up to 12, it's just going to be 3 o'clock for some reason. Yeah, it looks like 2, but for some reason... The Pit and the Pendulums. That's a nice uh, Edgar Allan Poe reference, but I'm just going to get whatever star I want to get. I mean, this still isn't easy, even when they're not moving. I'm not saying it's hard, but it's it's not easy. <sighs> ah, who am I kidding? It is pretty easy. Com in comparison to some of the other stuff this game has requested of me. I can't complain that much. Okay. This next star. It looks like I can grab it using my trusty jump and then do my back kick thing. Yeah! I'm so glad I know how to do that maneuver, because this would be really hard otherwise. I don't know what star that was supposed to be. Get a hand. Oh, is that the one that normally requires me to walk with the clock? Huh. The pit in the pendulum says, 
Enter it when the time is approximately 3.05. This will slow down all the mechanisms inside. Oh, there's a slow mode too? Three, what, 3.05? Shoot, I don't know what I... Um, is that slow? Maybe there's a slow and fast mode and no regular? Shoot. I, I have to remember, I can't just freely jump over these boxes anymore. Um, it's basically go farther than the cage. This is tough. Here's where it's like... Whew. I think I can beat the next one before it goes. Yep. Whew, just barely, though. Yeah, there's some crazy stuff. But again, this level... This might... If it wasn't for the clock nonsense, it would probably be my favorite level. Because it's straight platforming goodness. It's, it's just challenges. It's not any other kind of nonsense. Okay, so keep going, I guess. Um, there is no more up, so I guess I gotta go around this way. Yep, it's an enemy that tosses you around. I believe I just saw him. <gasps> oh, good goody. I wanted to be here. I wanted to show you guys how to get past these blocks again, but this is some of the worst camera angle. You guys are so lucky to have me helping you out with this kind of stuff. <laughs> God. Okay, now. Okay. Here we are. You like how I fall- I swear I just made the same mistake twice, and I'm not quite sure how I'm making it. Um, it's just a regular jump. What am I doing wrong? How can I get through all this ridiculous machinery, but then it's like, oh, sorry, we require you to jump, and that's it. And somehow that's a problem. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Um, are those fantastic sections in Super Mario Sunshine where you lose flood and you just have to do straight crazy platforming stuff. Um, this, that's a good thing. Those, that's, those are by far the best part of that game. But, um, man. Oh, enemy that throws you. Maybe it's this guy they're talking about. Do not throw me. So that's something about triangle platforms too, so I'm guessing... Oh boy! I feel like I luck out. Like, yeah, I get a lot of crap, but I luck out when it comes to Mario just needing to hit that one ledge grab. <gasps> just like that! See? <laughs> it's like he does it on command for me now! This pendulum stuff actually isn't that tough. Wow. Whoa. I wonder if that would kill you. I've... N that would be a way to die in Mario that I have never experienced before. I, I can promise that. Um, I'm not really willing to try it, though. Whew. Got a little crazy toward the end. This time says enter at 3.05 again. Stomp on the thwomp. I don't know if that's another one that just requires me to keep going up high. I didn't even celebrate when we hit 100. Well, we're at 101 now. So that's good. Um, I hate having to read the directions to do these, but... If I don't, at this point, I've forgotten it all. We've we've tested the limits of- Oh, shoot. I was not looking at all for the time. I think this is normal speed and not slow to speed. Shoot. We're, I mean, we'll, we'll see how I can handle it. It's not like... It's unbeatable. It's just challenging. Uh. It was dumb of me, though. But yeah, I mean... Oh! Well, I guess I can go slow again. I guess I have to. I mean, that wasn't... That wasn't so good. Alright. Alright, I guess I'm waiting for this to go, like, there? I don't even know. 
Yeah, like, there's not, like, a sign. I, at least I don't think. I haven't talked to the toads that often. I think all the toad says is, like, oh, different times will give you different speeds or something like that. Like, why, why do that? Just make it one coherent speed. Make it slow the whole time. What if it was just this slow speed the whole time? It's not like any of these require it to be frozen. It just makes some of them easier. And you'd rather have it slow than fast. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't design this game. And trust me, I love this game when it came out. There was nothing like it. I'm too spoiled by the fact that I'm a decade older. It's unbelievable, though. I was, like, just entering kindergarten when this game came out. That sounds wrong. I mean, yeah, there are other gamers older than me. This is just a personal realization. Like, wow. Oh, God. Why do I keep missing that rudimentary jump? This is why I like the 2D part. Ugh. Oh. One thing about the 2D Marios is you don't have to judge an angle. You just make the jumps. Even the new Super Mario Bros, as much as I hate it, like I said, the only reason I hate it is just because I, I think it's uninspired and Nintendo has milked as much cash out of it as possible. But, I can't complain about nonsense like angles. You know? I think that's, the, that's, that's like the number one rule of game design, is make it... That one was my bad, but you want to make it so that the player feels like, oh, I got to get in right away. I, no, that's totally different than what it was supposed to be. I think it's still, it might be regular speed. I can't tell. But to make a good game, especially a platformer, you want it to make it feel like when the player loses, it's their fault and not the game's. Half the time, and that's being really generous, it might be more than half the time. I feel like it's the game's fault and not my own. It's just, just like angles and weird inputs and stuff. This was going well before. <laughs> now it's gone bad. I'm already in two-parter territory. I think I've just long ago learned that I can't beat these in one 15 minute take anymore. The levels keep getting bigger and more challenging and I don't have what it takes. I don't have the patience. I don't have the knowledge of the old levels. <sighs> gotta, gotta do what I can do. I'm gonna wait. Patient. I haven't even gotten to where I used to be able to get. And it's only because of that dumb jump after these gears. Keep going, keep going. This is fine. I'm, I get this every time. Oh, wait. Oh, no, yeah. It's after this. It's this. It's. I think what it is, is looking at it, it looks like it's extending over the entire platform, but it's only this end of it. I think that's... Oh, no! I'm wrong. That's bad design. It's in the middle. It's not... Ah. Uh, that's... I mean, that that answers my question. That's why I've been missing it. Ah. Uh, that's, that's also tough. Oh, boy. I'm trying to think. Like, what direction to go. Jeez, this really does extend pretty high up. I think I have to go up this way to the right. I don't know. I stopped reading. I mean, at this point, there's not too much left in the level to hide. It's just going higher up. Oh, boy. More awkward geometry. Well, I'm going for this. <gasps> I shouldn't have! <sighs> Did that fall do half my health? I think that's the most I've taken from a fall all game. Other than falling off the edge, obviously. <sighs> Those red coins are starting to look pretty attractive. What's this? Is this star three I'm looking for? No, this has got to be four. Okay. That death right there, 
was what separated me from having fun and being angry again. Man. Stop on the flump. And, like I've made it apparent, I like to keep the death stand on my run. If I just beat it the whole way through, it would be a walkthrough. It wouldn't be a let's play. It, it would not be an accurate portrayal of me playing. But, I hate it when all I do is die. And Spelunky is acceptable because it's, it's a, always an exciting new death every time I die. In this, it's like you're seeing me fall on the same stupid shit over and over again. <laughs> that can't be fun! Unless you guys like me having tantrums. Um, in which case, you're welcome. I think I... Every time I die, I'll just pretend that I'm trying to appease the people that like me being angry while I play. Some of this is like just in my sleep. Like that combination I've done over and over again. There's really no easy way to get out of that. This is long. This must be the highest vertical ascension in the game. I know that there have been some high mountains and stuff, um, I don't know, like I know the pyramid's really high, this just feels higher, or maybe it's just because there's, oh god, I saved myself with that jump, trust me, that could have been ten times worse. What even is that flipper guy, does he have a name? Um, it's not like he's in the bar, like, what, what is he in the Mario universe, what would, what would you even call that fellow? I'm trying to figure out where the thwomp is. These three things, it's like, what happens when I go to the left? Is that a platform that raises? Is that an elevator? Otherwise, I feel like there's no incentive for me to go up. What about around here? You know, I, I can't figure out which of these... I assume it's one of those things where one way is a star and the other way is... <gasps> also a star. Jeez, yeah, I see three play three different places where a star could come out. And considering there are only three left and one of them is red coins, I have to figure out which one of these is not a reasonable place for a star to be. Yeah, <laughs> Just get higher and higher. There's a star in there! I don't... How do I get to you? I mean, I'm already going this way, so... Oh boy. I love that that requires a double jump. Absolutely love that. Go, 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 go. This is ludicrous. This doesn't end. Oh man. <laughs> man. I'm more impressed than like depressed. I I I can't believe this goes this long. I was complaining like five minutes ago. <laughs> like there's there's multiple paths too. It's like, whoa, what are those spinny platforms? Will that reach an elevator? What what will that get me? You know? What's my reward? Here's more. I'm just gonna deal with these right here, right now. <gasps> what was that? <sighs> I almost got screwed on some total bullshit. People were gonna get hurt. Oh my god. <laughs> I like... I can't even believe how, how long this is now. Like, what else is up here? Oh god. Fire. One of these has a star in it? Because this is as high as it goes. I saw, I saw the clock hand also. Maybe I'm waiting for that. <gasps> oh god, it's in slow mode though. Yep. Clocked the thwomp. I cannot believe that that is all one star. That might be the hardest star in the game, as far as like straight technical ability and not like random garbage, like shooting out of a cannon. Ugh. Yeah, here I actually wish I was in normal mode. Then I still have to climb on the thwomp. I still have to hit this, hit this, uh, clock hand. Well here. I just don't want to deal with the flame thing. I don't want that to hit me while I'm on it for any reason. Oh my god. Alright, you shot. 
I'm on! I'm actually going to walk away a little bit. Okay. And now we wait. So, um, having a good time, <laughs> Mario. <laughs> oh man, that was that was pretty bad. I guess you could say it was pretty bad timing. <laughs> Ugh. Man, I'd, I'd make more puns, but I really don't have the time. No, literally, um, I have to <laughs> to do this now. Get me up. Do it. Give me that star. That was well deserved. I'm patting myself on the back. That was unbelievable. Next one's called Time Jump and Moving Bars. Um, another one where I have to get on the moving clock. Yeah, there's no reason to go into regular mode unless you're just impatient. Oh, shoot. For some reason, I feel like that's going to give me slow mo. Timed jumps on moving bars. Oh, wait. Well, I know where the star is. We saw it in that cage. So I'm not going to read anything. I don't like using the guide. I just use it so I don't waste your time. Like I said, like I can read where it is. The, the real challenge is getting there half the time. More than half the time. Are you kidding me? 100% of the time. I know where most of these stars are and I, I can't get to them, so. Whoa, -ho, that could have been ugly. I could grab the red coins here, but I think that that's best when the platforms aren't moving at all. And that'll be a nice ending. That's like one of the easiest stars in here. Jeez. I love these stars because they're like tiered. They get harder and harder as you go, as far as like how deep you get. Or high, I guess. Deep would be counterintuitive. But you, you know what I mean. Um, the levels get crazier and crazier. And Oh no. Oh, I'm, I whiffed that too because of that poorly designed platform that doesn't extend. <laughs> like that one up. He was on a mission. He followed me all the way down. It's like. You're not, you're not getting away. You're not going to see another game over. Okay. 102 stars. I'm only three away before I'm in, um... Coin mode. Can't tell if I'm happy or sad because of that. I mean, honestly, like you guys know, I like to play as many games as possible. Um, so w once Mario's done, like, you'll be watching Mario, and I'll have already been working on the next series without you even knowing. Behind your back. Oh, that was my own fault. That time I at least didn't whiff. <laughs> you like I healed as I fell, like, from the heart? That was bizarre. Didn't fall that far, either. But, um, I think next I'm, I'm basically obligated, after this, to do a Sega Genesis game. Um, people are asking for Sonic... I'm considering it, but I don't know. Um, I grew up with Sonic and I could never get into it as a kid. I played through Sonic 2, I think was good, but I enjoyed playing it multiplayer more than I liked actually playing through the levels. Um, it's kind of that problem, like Sonic is a lot of fun when you're going high speed, but then when you have to think about platforming, it usually doesn't mix that well. Woo! <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, I'm going somewhere with that. So yeah, I don't know. I didn't beat Sonic that often. I beat Sonic 2 one time um, that I can think of. Sonic 1 I beat on the PC. I had that on my old school Windows 95. I don't know why I didn't have that for the Genesis. I only had two, but that's considered the good one. Wow, that star is way easier than the Thwomp one. But yeah, um, I don't know. Looking at some other ones... Problem is, a lot of my favorite Sega games were co-op, so I'd have to find another friend. By the time I'm doing those, I might have already graduated. I mean, it's not not to say I don't have friends, but most of them are here at the school. So that's technically three o'clock. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, wow! This one's literally called Stop Time for Red Coins. So they are asking you to to stop the time. Um, let me think. Some of my favorite games growing up uh, on the Sega Genesis. You love know, playing Mario and just talking about an entirely different console. Um, Streets of Rage, I think. Well, really, only two. Um, there's there's a couple reasons why some of the other ones aren't aren't as good. I can't believe I made it all the way to the top platform. I was expecting to fall and get some damage. 
Streets of Rage 2, though, is fantastic. 3 is brutally hard, because for some reason the North American version is absurd. Um, so it's, it's like too hard to play. And then 1 is just worse, because it's 1. Um, 3, the combat is good. It's literally only the difficulty that's the issue. And they change up the story in ways that don't make sense. But anyways, that, that's a game I liked. Gunstar Heroes, fantastic game. I, m I might do that, just because you can do that one concise playthrough. Um, what else do I have? Um, I also liked Earthworm Jim growing up. I think that was for multiple platforms. I actually... Earthworm Jim was another game I had for Windows 95 for some reason. But I also had that for the Genesis. That was good. Did pausing make my star no longer existent? I'm so confused. Where did my star go? I... The... I can't imagine anywhere else why it would be. That, no, the, the blue star is specifically where the... <laughs> what? Where did my star go? What, what's going on here? Um, I mean, I'm going to do a quick look around. This game is just trolling me in the worst ways. I was talking about Sega Genesis. I have no clue what I was talking about. Echo the Dolphin, Earthworm Jim, something like that. Oh, the st Why would they do that? <laughs> they get. V and of course, I'm gonna whiff it. Alright, you get a chance for me to talk about one more game I liked on the Sega Genesis. And that is, um, Shinobi 3. There's a game I could do by myself. Fantastic game. Um, again, oh God. I don't know what games I'm going to record before I record them. Like,. I, I don't know what you guys are going to see in the meantime, as far as the indie category. I've been playing Mark of the Ninja, and yeah, it's more of a ninja game. It focuses on stealth, but I don't think that's very exciting to talk about and record. I don't know why. I like the- I keep missing this star. Shinobi is a straight up hard as nails platformer, but it's, um, it's all about fast paced, crazy action. You can do great moves. It looks fantastic. Shinobi 3. That is a great game that I would love to record. I might even do it if I don't end up doing Mark of the Ninja just to meet my ninja quota. Um, I played a lot of Mortal Kombat. I'm honestly not crazy about it. It's not the best fighting game ever, but I'm nostalgic to the characters because I grew up with it and all kinds of action figures and stuff. The newer Mortal Kombat's are good, but the older ones, it's like, they're not that good or balanced of games. Also, this has been a nightmare, just getting the star. Why would they do that? All you have to do is put it above that little blue one. It's... There we go. 104. Just a few more stars.